Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another SPL game. Uh, today we have a RU game between Shake It Up and Winsong. Uh, we'll look at the teams quick before getting into the replay. Uh, they, the teams have a similar structure, even though not all the Mons are the same. Like, they're, they're built very similarly. And by that I mean they both have, like, their Megalix, ro or, like, Megalix as rocks. Uh, and then they have their, their Defoggers, their defensive Milotics to take on, like, for Alligator and such. Scarfer and a couple breakers, right? So, like on Shake's side, it's probably Scarf Gardevoir, and then it's got Salazzle and um, Decidueye to break. I'm assuming that the uh, Defog is on Gligar uh, because Immunity uh, Defog is like super broken. Like that Mon is so good in RU. And uh, so, kind of like how Gliscor is now able to run Poison Heal and Defog in the higher tiers. Uh, Gligar is able to run Immunity Defog in the in RU, so it can't be toxic, which makes it really hard to beat uh, the Defog sets now. Um, yeah, and then on uh, Winsong side, I would assume that it's Scarf Shaman. Uh, it could also be Scarf Meloetta, but uh, to be honest, I, I would to me like it makes more sense for the Shaman to be Scarf because then the the Zygarde and the Meloetta could be the breakers. So either like so one option would be like Specs Meloetta and Dragon Dance Zygarde. The other option would be like Banded Zygarde and maybe like a Calm Mind Z move Meloetta. Uh, but besides that, like I said, the structures of the team are pretty similar, so it should be an interesting game. And with that, we'll just hop right in, watch, uh, get started with the replay. So we see Winsong lead Rotom, and uh, Shake leads Gligar. So uh, Winsong T-Bolts, expecting a switch out, maybe um, like Shake not, not wanting to get Wisped on the uh, Gligar. We just see a double back now on the Thunderbolt. Now Rotom, yeah, Rotoms do carry HP Ice here, so... But uh, Shake just, uh, I mean, takes 50 and U-turns out, so Gligar's weakened, which could uh, prove to be problematic for the Zygarde, but, um, like, between my, lo like, obviously the Decidueye could switch into arrows, and the Milotic also could take banded arrows if it's full Fizz def, but Milotic will not take um, Outrages, so the, the, um, the Gligar being weakened definitely is going to, looks like it could make Decidueye a problem for sure if um, if he's if Shake's not able to heal that up later on in the game. So the uh, Gardevoir comes out right now and, hmm, Winsong, like he probably doesn't want to take like, uh, this could, I guess this could potentially be Specs 2. But I would assume that this would be the Scarfer. Either way, I guess, like, Psychic or Trick is coming out. So you could go Licks, but then you risk uh, you risk the, the Gardevoir going for Focus Blast, which could be a problem. Actually, yeah, uh, Winsong doesn't have a Fighting Resist. But, of course, like, Focus Blast wouldn't do anything to Meloetta. So I guess Meloetta is a potential play, too, because that would cover Trick, Psychic, and uh, and Focus Blast pretty well. Um, so we just see the uh, overheat come out. It does a bunch to Gardevoir. This is clean 70. And now we could probably see the switch out. If we want to, if one song wants to keep the Rotom, he could probably go into like Licks here. I uh, see a double out into Salazzle, predicting the. Oh, he goes Meloetta. I think he was predicting the Steelix, maybe. But even then, like if Steelix doesn't Mega and it keeps it sturdy, it could knock out. It forces out the the Salazzle anyway. Um, but yeah, now the Meloetta is in, and Meloetta has, like, stupid spadef, so there's no way Salazzle could do, like, there's, like, it can't kill the Meloetta, and obviously Meloetta will kill it in one with Psychic move, because, um, Salazzle has really bad defenses, even though it's amazing offensively and the coverage is really good, uh, it, it can't take hits to save its life, so it would die in one, so we see the switch out here to the Steelix. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Megalix will eat, um, a Focus Blast from... Because uh, that doesn't look to be specs to me. So this is probably... Calm Mind would be my guess. Um, and this could definitely eat a Focus Blast from Meloetta. But what it it's not going to be able to kill the Meloetta in one. So that's why uh, Winsong CMs. Which is a good play. Because like I said, the... The, the Steelix can't Oko Meloetta, not at all. Even, like, it'll probably do, like, even if it's not invested, even if the Meloetta is not invested at all in bulk, it probably would do, like, 50 to 60-ish with, like, Heavy Slam. So, I think Call Mind was free there, because, um, you Call Mind, it doesn't kill you, and then you would kill the Steelix with the Focus Blast, or if it has Fight Z, which is obviously, um, like, a pretty common set would be, like, uh, Call Mind, uh, Call Mind... Psych like Psy Shock Focus Blast, or we see this one has Psychic, right? But then with like Fight Z, last move could be Sub. You could run another coverage move like Shadow Ball or whatever. But um, 
Yeah, and I think that's why Shake also switched out, fearing maybe like Fightsy, which would have probably killed uh, the Steelix. Or definitely would have killed the Steelix if this is like a uh, max special attack Meloetta. Um, but yeah, now this will die to a Psychic, but I don't think that Shake uh, really could do anything about that. Um, oh, this is where, okay, Doc actually told me that around this time in the video or the replay when he was recording this, uh, his uh, computer or his internet died. So he said to fast forward a bit because the, the internet died here. And then the last few turns he said are going to go fast because he comes back and the game was over. So I guess that tells you about what's going to happen with this Meloetta, right? Um, but yeah, we'll fast forward a bit. Um, are you... Here, wait, we'll, we'll leave it here before the before it comes back because I want to talk a little bit about the tier because Aryu was a tier that I was never a huge fan of, but uh, after Ultra Sun Ultra Moon came out, I actually did, I played it a decent amount. Um, and I definitely enjoyed it more than I had in the past. So uh, it's it's a cool tier, especially because like at the moment, like Aryu's got a lot of really cool breakers, like with uh, Necrozma and um, Koma O. Like DD Koma O, even though the Z moves banned, like Co DD Koma O super good. Like DD um, Dragon Z with like Poison Jab and Close Combat, super good set. Um, for Alligators, a lot of fun to use. Uh, Salazzle super fun to use. So like I actually like oh Zydog is really fun to use too. So RU is actually like a really cool tier. So if you guys haven't really played it recently, because maybe you didn't like it like last gen or earlier this gen, uh, I definitely recommend you know pl try giving it another shot because a lot of the mons that they have now are really cool to use, especially after the move tutors and such. So uh, yeah, definitely give it give it a go if you haven't played in a while. It's, it's a fun tier. But okay, now we're gonna fast forward again more. Um, yeah. All right, there it is. Okay, uh, so we see the Calm Mind yeah, here. This is where Doc resets his computer. Uh, I'm actually surprised that's that's Spadef Gligar. I'm surprised that lived. Like holy shit. So we see the Psychic do nothing to the uh, to the Milotic. Unfortunately, Toxic Mist, which sucks because now uh, it will die to this Fight Z, and the uh, Meloetta is no longer on a timer. So he's just praying. Shakes praying to to dodge a Focus Blast, but doesn't get the dodge. And this should be game over, right? Because Salazzle comes out. It is um, going to do no damage to that Salaz or to the Meloetta at plus one Spadef. And like he was crit fishing there. And like I said that uh, remember I said that there's probably like a Z move on either Decidueye or or Salazzle. The other one's probably Orb. We do see that the Z move or uh, that the Salazzle there was Life Orb. So that was probably an, um, a Z move Decidueye. So it kind of stinks that we didn't get to see that do anything. Never come out of the Pokeball. But at that point, everything just died to, to Meloetta. So, yeah, um, not the most competitive game, but uh, Meloetta showing why it's broken. Nice and broken. And you see that Winsong, um, at this point, uh, made it 1-3 for the bigs. Uh, the Raiders are still up in the series. I'm not, I don't know who won, or it might have been a tie. I, I don't remember. Oh, <coughs> sorry about that. I don't remember for sure. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Ultra Bowls out. Peace.